Get a condominium unit or a house. Rent it out. And live happily ever after on the rental income. If you take advice from someone older, such as those from the baby boomer generation, this might be common financial advice that you have been receiving. But the financial world has changed drastically over the last 20 years and there have been several innovations with regards to real estate investments. Is physical real estate your only option to collect rent and retire? And how might each of these financial instruments affect your retirement plans? In this episode, we take a look at the main differences between owning physical assets and owning units in real estate investment trusts or REITs. As always, please drop us a like and subscribe if you would like to be in touch with financial topics like these. As we know REITs are entities that own commercial assets, which are in turn rented out to tenants. As long as the assets in the REITs you own continue to collect rents, you will be able to enjoy income in the form of distributions or dividends. But there are several major differences between the income one collects from a physical asset and the income one collects from REITs. The first major difference is the tax treatment on the income. Rent collected from physical assets will be taxable as income tax and this amount will vary according to your income bracket. But on the other hand, distribution or dividends collected from REITs are 100% tax-free in jurisdictions like Singapore. And in other jurisdictions, taxes on dividends from REITs are usually lower when compared to taxes on rent collected from physical assets. These tax savings will add on to a substantial amount when trying to achieve one's financial goals in the long run. Another major difference between REITs and physical assets is diversification. REITs offer exposure to a diversified portfolio of properties across various countries, cities, and also sectors like residential, commercial, industrial, and retail. This diversification reduces the risk associated with investing in a single property or asset class, making REITs a more stable option compared to concentrating investment in one physical property. For example, during economic downturns, the physical asset investor may not have an income should the tenant vacate the asset. But the investor in REITs can still enjoy an income stream as REITs usually have a stable of hundreds or even thousands of tenants. A third major difference between REITs and physical real estate is management. REITs are managed by experienced teams of real estate professionals, who handle property acquisition, management, and leasing on behalf of unit holders. This relieves investors from the burdens of property management, maintenance, and tenant issues that come with physical real estate ownership. As such, REITs are a truly passive source of income for investors, given that the unit holder will never need to do anything with regards to property management but will continue to receive rents as long as they live. On the other hand, physical real estate is usually managed by the owner, who has to chase after the tenant when rent is late, or when there are damages to the property. A fourth major difference between REITs and physical real estate is governance and transparency. REITs are subject to strict regulatory requirements, including reporting standards and disclosure obligations. This level of transparency provides investors with access to financial information, portfolio details, and performance metrics to aid in making informed investment decisions. On the other hand, an owner acquiring physical assets may not have access to the same stringent levels of oversight and may not have a lot of crucial information such as property history and the tenant's ability to pay rents on time. A fifth major difference between REITs and physical real estate is control. When investing in REITs, unit holders do not have direct control over the individual properties owned. Decisions on property management, tenant selection, and property improvements are made by the REITs management, leaving investors with limited influence. On the other hand, 
Owners of physical assets have full control and are free to decide on what they want to do with their properties, or even live in the properties if they choose to. In conclusion, while both financial instruments are based on real estate, there are major differences between owning REITs and owning physical real estate. As an investor in REITs, you will enjoy greater tax savings, geographical and asset diversification, professional management, and transparency. But as an investor in physical real estate, you will have greater control over the asset. What other advantages or disadvantages that you can think of when owning REITs and physical real estate? Do comment below and drop us a like and subscribe if you found this video useful and would like to stay in touch with more videos like these.